Right, we've got the Destiny RTA by Hell Vapor and Alex from Vapors MD, who's another YouTube reviewer. We've got the stainless steel one here, we have the black one as well, and this is the box that it comes in, but uh, very hard to get open, so I've done it already. Right, use a manual bag full of O rings, 510 to 810 to 510, and drip tip adapter, which is good to see. We've got a little screwdriver there, flathead, uh, lots of O rings piece of shoelace cotton and it also does come with a, a 0.37 ohm coil and that one is actually installed in my black one we'll have a look at that one in a minute so put those to one side you also get a little bubble tank here which uh, brings the capacity up to four mil which is this little piece here which is on the black one right so this is this in a two mil version uh, straight glass on it we've got the 810 fit and drip tip uh, that's what we're looking like in there I'm not a fan of the drip tip but we do have an o-ring inside so aftermarket ones should fit there's one from the re uh, is that recurve I think it is yeah so that's that 5.76 is the bore for this one plug that back in Look on the bottom, not a lot going on there, but it does say Hell Vape, and I think that's Alex from Vapor's MD logo. And we've got the usual other sort of markings, but uh, it's really hard to see with the stainless, but we have got gold-plated uh, 510 peak insulator, and we have got some protrusion there. So I'd be happy to use that on hybrid mechanical device, but always check to see that your one has got that. Right so adjustable airflow with stoppers on each side there you go that's it fully open you can do it anyway in between there you go i think i've got it right that's that i haven't used this one so it's a little bit stiff right so we have got like a, an o-ring gaskety thing uh, around there another o-ring around in there so these are your juice filling ports to so fill up around the side. We've already measured that already, so we've got quite a reduced bore on this. So there's your notches. So just put it on until it feels right, and then put it back towards you about a quarter of a turn. It should be fine. Right, let's try and take the base off. That's what we're looking like inside there. So we've got the usual banking going on. We got your positive and ne negative. That's your negative. That's your positive block, and we've got flat heads in here at the moment. But basically, the airflow comes through these holes on either side. I was using the black one at first, and I d didn't even realise. I thought it was just coming from this side. I didn't notice uh, this particular side here. But here's your wicking ports, coil in the centre, and yes, it is a, a little bit tricky. This one uh, it is the build I've got in here at the moment this is with the core that comes with it but um, you just notice there you it's hard to see on here but basically you've got to try and get the core dead central and make sure that the airflow is hitting uh, you know if you use a 2.5 you've got more chance of it hitting uh, both the top and the, the bottom of it so put your coil in here and your cotton goes in here and I leave it quite short but to be honest i actually have been preferring using th three mils so that's what we're going to put in today so let's do the build today's builds we are going to be using some nature vape alien calls coming out 0.3 ohm per call they should do so they come in packs of eight and very nice coils here's a quick look at one so there we go these are mass produced but uh, they're very affordable cores and work very well indeed loosen your screws got my core in here it's a three mil diameter and i have sort of flattened my legs a little bit to make it a little bit easier right so you want that sort of in the center so somewhere like that Right, so you don't want these leads interfering with the outside of here. So you want to make sure they're tucked in so it doesn't short circuit with the chimney. Just push them up a little bit like that. Right, just switch the mod on. We'll have a look at that resistance. It's pretty faint, this is. Right, it's coming out 0.24. 
that. So just going to put the chimney back on to see if we got a short. Right, still reading 0.24, so happy with that. We can proceed. Like I say, this is very important, the call placement with this. You want it right in the centre, just like that, and make sure that that airflow is going to hit it from both sides. Right, so pulse the calls to get rid of any hot spots. Right, happy with that. Let's get the top cap back on. Right, that's it. The Destiny RTA is called and built up. So let's go back up top and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Right, we're up top with the Destiny RTA. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing very well and staying safe. Right, Destiny RTA then. This one was sent over from Hellvate for the purpose of review. So big thanks to Hellvate for that. Right, this one is a dual collaboration between Alex from Vapors MD. He's done lots of other things as well, the Berserker series. Uh, uh, I think he's been with Advocate as well with the Breathe, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyway, Destiny, uh, I've been looking forward to this one. I do like a nice single core direct to a lung. Right, what do I think about it then? Right, build quality, fit and finish. Uh, it's very nice. We've got, I've got the stainless one here as well. We've got the, we've got the black one somewhere. Uh, is that it? Yeah, there's the black one. I think the black one looks very nice as well. We put the build in the uh, the stainless one though today, so we're going to talk about this. Looks pretty nice on the Ev Dillo. The review for that can be found on the channel Jewel Twenty One Seven Hundred if you want to check that one out. But yeah, it's built very well. This is we've got a nice um, bayonet fitting top cap. It's a good idea to really sort of crank all this down first. Otherwise, sometimes you might find it spins the actual chimney though. That's one thing I've did notice with this but it's all finished off nicely we've got some nice roughness around here it's not rough but it's you know what I'm talking about to help you grab hold of it the airflow it's easier to change when you've got the straight glass on but we've got a nice bit of resistance it's not going to spin too freely so once it's in place it's not going to like a uh, change on on its own in your pocket or anything like that so yeah no problems no burr marks or anything it all goes together and the threads are quite nice on this one as well so yeah it gets a thumbs up for build quality i think it looks better in straight glass to be honest all of these bubble ones tend to look the same once you put a a bubble on it and the other thing is the drip tip i'm not a avid fan of it uh, if you just see there we have got like a bit of a tapered bore situation going on but it's quite a wide 810 tip though as well um yeah uh, i just would prefer to put something else on but for the first couple of pulls we'll leave that tip on so let's give it a little go then we've got it 
40 watts with a, a 0.24 that one was coming out in the end so here we go now as you can hear there uh, very noisy this vape is but it is quite smooth but 40 watts of the airflow fully open um, it is quite wide but because of that tip on there it's restricting it a bit let's say it's like an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10 with 10 being a super wide one being a very tight mouth and lung sort of draw but for the rest of the review i'm going to put another tip on i'm going to put the re recurve one on because i just like the um the draw you get for that but that's at 40 watts and to be honest um my preference for this one is vaping it at a low wattage and just knocking the airflow halfway. So we're just going to put it to halfway now. As you can hear there, there it sounds a little bit turbulent though. A little bit more turbulent. So just put it a quarter of the way now. then it verges on a whistle so for me i'm going to crank up the wattage a, a little bit more than that so we'll put it up to 55 now and we'll have it uh, with just a little bit of it knocked off and it's um, yeah it's still a little bit turbulent so if you have it fully open for me, that gives the smooth, smoothest vape, but not necessarily the, the best flavour. But um, that's the thing with this, though. It did take me a few builds. I put a good six or seven builds in this one. Because when I uh, first opened it, I used the black one, and I didn't even notice the other airflow hole on the other side, so I didn't realise. So you do need to make sure you build it dead centre and try and get it so that the air holes are actually covering like both sides of the core. Now, 2.5s do work in it, but for me, I wasn't getting as good flavour. So with the 3mm ones, you've got to get it perfect, because otherwise, if you've got it too low or too high, you do get a muted flavour. But the position I've got here is uh, pretty uh, bang on, so I'm ha happy with that. But uh, we'll just put it up to 70 now, see if we can handle that. And it's wicking very well indeed. So I don't like going much more than that. 75. Yeah, it's verging on a, a dry hit for me. So anywhere between like 40 and 60 gives me the, the, the best vape uh, experience for this. So somewhere around 50 watts. And we're going to put that uh, airflow down near enough half. Yeah, for me, 45 watts I've got that at now. Airflow knocked down just below a half, so you've got just over a half uh, open. It's giving me the best uh, draw. And the flavour is really good, but it is a temperamental bugger to get it. It took me a good few builds to get the best flavour. And if you find that you're getting muted flavour, you just need to adjust that cord up or down. And also make sure your cotton legs so I don't have them too ram full in the uh, cotton ports down there. Just have it so it's just poking through. I found uh, work best as with any direct to lung RTA. But I think it looks pretty tidy, this particular one, especially in straight glass mode. But um, what about the flavour? I'll give you a little rating then after this draw. It is very good. It is very good flavour. It depends what sort of cores you use. I've used the 0.62 in there. I've used the 0.16. I've got a 0.26 it's coming out at the moment. And I've also used a 0.4 fuse clapton. So it does depend on what sort of build you put in here. And you just have to do your trial and error. But for me, I'd give it an 8, maybe an 8.5 uh, max. Um, it's not my favourite single core RTA, uh, this one. I prefer the um, 
the aromizer light or the go for vape double up i think they just give a better flavor and a smoother draw and this one's quite loud as well but it is a decent rta and i know a lot of people out there rave about it but for me it's just not my best one but it's not a bad effort uh, at all so that's the end of the review guys if you did enjoy it please give the video a cheeky little thumbs up if you uh could that be marvelous helps with the analytics of the channel pushes up the search results and all of that you can also subscribe if you're not done so already so i'd be appreciative of that if you could do that and hit the bell notification you'd be notified of all my latest videos also got a website you can see it on the screen it's social media are on the screen as well or just check on google so until next time guys i hope you're all staying safe and i'll catch you on the next one okay cheers Thank you.